Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Back Mountain movie thoughts. I liked the Heath Ledger's kind of repressed nature that you know he was you know he was of course gay but he couldn't accept it he couldn't admit it even to himself you know that's why the there there is a a streak of aggression to the you know the excuse me the sex and the flirting i guess excuse me with you know the the physical you know them rolling around and such they're you know he's he gets nearly and sometimes downright violent and you know with without actually pulling away it's it's his it's it's how conflicted he is and then you know when he when when his ex-wife brings it up I'm kicking myself because I can't you can't see it because my legs are in the shot but I can't remember Michelle Williams's name in this movie but she did fantastic Alma there it is yeah Alma you know when she brings it up and and it's she's already seen his temper you know earlier when you know when it was to sort of, uh, you know, protect his family, I guess, b because he didn't want his children to hear the coarse language at the, I think, what's it called, 4th of July celebration. I liked how the film kind of showed you this is that time of year with something simple, like, you know, someone is lighting a firecracker, it's 4th of July, someone is carving a turkey, it's Thanksgiving, you know, this whole... I'm going to get to the Thanksgiving, if I don't remember. If I don't forget. Yes. The, you know, he, I guess he's trying to protect them from hearing it, but it might have also been that line about how he hasn't been, you know, he hasn't slept with Alma since she gave birth. I think that might have also kind of set him off towards the, you know, and we can see that he can fight, and he really is, you know, he's got a lot of anger in him, and then it gets turned on her. I think that was a really powerful moment, because I, I honestly didn't expect him to be able to, you know, he didn't hit her. I think that is worth noting, but he did grab her arm and squeeze it, and he might have hit her. You know, it... I didn't see that coming, and it's a pretty big, you know... It is not easy to forgive someone, fictional or otherwise, for having struck someone who couldn't, you know, defend themselves. That is... and, and that the film nearly goes there. Because that is, that is how conflicted he is. That is how strong the love for Jake, Jack is. Well, Jake. Gyllenhaal. And at the same time, how, you know, it's not just love. It's that he can't accept it. It's that he hates himself for it, you know. And this is really obvious, but also obviously why he was, you know... I guess punching the wall and like, I don't know, throwing up something like that earlier in the film, soon after they leave Brokeback Mountain, you know, and yeah, and, and it is that at the end of the day, that's what got Jack killed, that he wasn't repressing it, you know, he was, he was giving into it, even to the point of, you know, cheating on, you know, Del Mar, which, you know, I can understand why. I, you know, it must be really difficult to actually, you know, to, to hold out for that long and, you know, 
when it might even be cancelled. You know, like he said, what, every few months or a couple of times a year, you know, that... But, but yeah, you know, and immediately after he hears how it happened, he realizes what really happened, you know, and I don't know, you know, you gotta wonder if if L Loreen, I think her name was, knew, or, you know, if, if she, if she was lying to herself about it, or if she, you know, but, but that's what got him killed, he wasn't careful enough, and that's what, that's what sometimes happens, you know, when you're in a part of the world that doesn't accept you for who you are, and you express who you are. And that, that Dalmar continues, you know, with, with just the shirt and the, the postcard with the, you know, the, the mountain on it. That, that was really powerful. That, that was, because that was really how he'd always done. And that was also, you know, there were a couple of lines that really cemented Del Mar was pragmatic. Jack was idealistic. You know, Del Mar has that line about if you can't, you know, Jack is talking about how awful the situation is and how he d he is not satisfied by the situation, and Del Mar is talking about if you can't fix it, you make do. You know, that has been his life. You know, parents die, so his siblings have to raise him. Sister goes away, his brother is the only one left. Brother gets married, he's on his own, and that's just, that's it, you know, you make do, that has been his life. And Jack, he just doesn't take anything lying down, and again, that's part of it, you know, he didn't admit to himself that something like that might happen, even though, you know, Delmar told him, I liked how the film, in, just in general, sort of explored this kind of, just the, the relationships. You know, Loreen wasn't, I don't think she was looking to get married, but, you know, that was just the societal norm. And, you know, she, she just wanted to run the business. I, I didn't perceive much of anything else in her character. And, and it's not that she's, you know, she's not a bad person, but that's just, it's who she is. She's, I don't know, career-minded, I guess. You know, she's, she's not the settling down type, and not all of, not, not all people are. You know, so just because she happened to get, you know, get pregnant, I thought it was quite honorable of, you know, Jack to actually, I didn't necessarily perceive that much of an interest from him in her, maybe in the child, but... And Thanksgiving. I... That was when I cheered. You know, first, just... Just, just the, you know, it, the scene starts with, you know, Jack trying to carve the turkey. And, you know, his father-in-law is like, yeah, you just sit down, I'm doing this. You know, it's, it's the alpha male thing, and the father-in-law just cannot stand Jack, you know, and then it's, you know, Al, not Alma, Loreen is, you know, telling the child, Bobby, don't watch the TV until you've finished eating, you know, we're gonna turn off the TV if you don't finish eating, you know, before, yeah, and, you know, Jack actually, you know, goes through with that. You know, he that's how much he respects her. So, you know, he goes ahead and turns it off. And then the father-in-law is just... You can kick him, you know. If he wasn't on the screen, you might kick him. You know, if he was there in person. And, you know, he just goes over, turns it back on, you know, boys should watch football. And... You know, Jack goes back, turns it off, sits back down. 
the father-in-law, you know, starts to walk over there, and Jack is just like, you sit right down. You are not turning that back on. You know, and Jack's got a point. You know, Lorene, three hours of cooking. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, you're eating that. You, you, screw the TV, you're eating it. You know, and I love TV. And just right after that, you know, he turns around. The father-in-law turns around, sits back down. Jack gets up, carves the turkey. You know, yeah, that that just perfect. Loved it. And then the contrast with the or contrast, you know, the the other Thanksgiving, where you know it it takes you a few seconds to realize exactly what the situation is. But yeah, Delmar was so lonely. His ex-wife and the new husband invited him over, you know. I guess also to spend time with the girls, but that, you know, that's when you're really lonely, you know. I also loved the, how, how the film handled the divorce. I thought that was really, you know, no time was wasted on it, and it just really worked. You could see their relationship deteriorating because he... I guess he's too stuck in just the, the the patriarchal ideas of, you know, well, the man works and the woman stays at home and takes care of the children. So, you know, he, you know, and you can see how he's willing to take off work to, and she sees it too, to be with Jack, but not to take care of the girls, you know, and he... You know, he, he doesn't even want to take care of the dinner, you know, even though she has to work. That whole, yeah. And then, you know, they're, you know, having, about to have sex and just, you know, she's like, you know, we got to protect ourselves. And he's, you know, if you don't want any more of my children, I'll leave you alone. And then she goes, I'm going to have your children if you can support them. Whoosh. Yeah. Ouch. Divorce. You know, literally, cut. We hereby decide that, you know, Alma will take care of the children. Yeah. That. Because it didn't need more. It really didn't need anything more. It was so thoroughly established that that relationship was not working out. You know, and that really is just the, the core of it. He's he's insecure, and he can't be some other... I, I don't think he even wants to be the, you know, this, this you know, old-time male archetype of, you know, father of the house, man, man of the house kind of thing. But he doesn't know, he doesn't... He doesn't feel comfortable with something else because he's afraid that if he doesn't conform, you know, it's it's burned into his mind, you know. Another example of his aggression, you know, really running loose, just when, you know, he's almost run over by a car and the driver, like, yells at him and he just runs up and starts attacking the driver and, you know, that's one of the times where it really goes wrong. And, you know, of course, because you can't beat up the whole world, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, Thanksgiving, you know, a couple of seconds after the scene starts, you realize that Alma is now with Monroe. I want to say his name is Monroe. That was also really nicely done because you could tell that, you know, Monroe wanted... Alma to be happy, you know, and it, we don't know that many details of the relationship, but clearly there was a kind of sympathy, empathy kind of thing going on, you know, he didn't have to help her when, you know, her child knocked over all that stuff, you know, he could have, you know, she was like afraid he might yell at her or something, and he helps her, you know, it really, so you could see them getting together after that, 
you know. Yeah, I suppose that pretty well covers the film. I don't really, at the moment, have anything else. If there was anything else you wanted my thoughts on, you know, post a question. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.